It's not an ambush you while you're coming out of the <laughs> It doesn't open very far, it was walked directly into it. Yeah, it's not that in there at all. That's much better than like a... So today is our last day in Krakow. I'm sad about that, but I'm yeah. excited. The month has gone really, really quick. We've just checked out of our place. And we're heading to the coast. We're going to... Gdansk. Yeah, Gdansk. Gdansk. Yeah. And then there's uh, Sopot and a couple of other places up there that we're going to visit. We're doing a bit of a mission. So that, uh, by the coast, we mean you head to head north to the top of Poland. A um, bit of a mission though. Yeah, we're catching an eight hour train. And we're only spending like two or three days there because that's all that we could really fit to the schedule. But we apparently we didn't want to miss it though, did we? Didn't want to miss it. We've heard such good things. So we sort of decided it was worth it. We would just sit down on the train, get some work done, watch a couple of movies. Yeah. Just make it worth our while and then spend a couple of days up there. So we're just in an Uber now, checking out from our spot and we're on our way to, is it the main? Main station. Main station to hopefully try and figure out how we catch this train. After walking around for a little bit, we finally managed to figure out that we were walking around up in the car park, which is where we got dropped off, but our train just arrived. So we think it's going to take about eight hours, and from the outside, actually I've already been on, from the outside it looks pretty new. On the inside there's loads of leg room, really straightforward. It actually looks like it's going to be a comfortable eight hours. I'm surprised at how much space that we have, and I think the tickets for this were, um, I think we paid about 70 zwati each, 79 zwati. There is a faster one which takes about five hours, but it was completely booked out by the time we went to do it and that was about three or four times the price and you'd be probably be better off just flying if that was going to be the case. So we're just going to chill out, going to make our way on there, settle in, I'll show you around a little bit and uh, let's hope that the bathrooms are nice as well and that we get a good view. How are the toilets? That's right. <laughs> are they, but other than that, they're fine. They're good? Yeah, pretty like solid for a train. So you've got eight hours on a train. Which um, direction? Backwards. <laughs> Dane booked us backwards. <laughs> oh man, the online booking system is so weird. We're lucky yeah. we got tickets together. We are. It's actually not, it's better than I was expecting. Yeah. yeah. It's not an ambush you while you're coming out of the toilet. <laughs> it doesn't open very far, it was walked directly into it. Yeah, it's not that in there at all. That's much better than like a... Uh, there's more space in there than an airplane toilet. <laughs> We're gonna go and try and find some coffee and some food, maybe. Ah, looks like the place. This is like a sit-down. Actually sit down like a restaurant style. Yeah. So we're about an hour in. One eighth down, <laughs> but we're about to. I think we're going to settle in for the long haul and probably watch a movie or some TV or something on our laptops. Because we've got plugs under the seats, we can just plug in the laptop, and you know that you're not going to run out. It's so much easier. It makes life so much better when you can, you know, that you can like charge yeah. your phone or listen to music or watch something. But we've just come down to one of the carts, which is like halfway-ish down, and there's a bar here. We've just got a couple of coffees that we've ordered. They're 13 zloty each, which is definitely on the high side. We know that, but. Um, the food seems really reasonable. You can get like paninis and stuff for nine with with the mm. chicken fillet yeah, and everything in it. Yeah, sounds really good. So we've got we've got placemats <laughs> and little nice. little tables that you can sit down on. This is legit. So I really feel like because um, we had a choice between this and a bus, train and a bus. Thank you so much. This is the first time that we've ordered uh, sorry ordered coffees. <laughs> it's the first time that we've been on a train, uh, especially in Poland and in in Europe. Yeah, our first. European yeah, first train. European one. So sure, we're going the wrong direction, we're facing backwards. I know the second time I looked at the train direction, but um, yeah, already uh, the buses were really easy, but trains seem to be quite quite good. This, this flexibility to walk yeah. and stretch your legs and come and like sit in your own little cart.
at about the halfway point now, and things are going really smooth. Yeah. We managed to watch a little bit of TV, I've done some editing. Stacey's has done a little bit of work as well. Like, there's so much space, so the laptops fit quite nicely. We've got 15 inch MacBooks as well, so like there's no wobbling or anything, so it's been really good. Time for some food though, so we've got um, a couple of a couple of sandwiches. Have you tried yours? I have. I've yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> they, they've been like, she sort of like handmade them as well. She was cutting meat. And, so we've got a, a chicken and vegetable all that sort of stuff as well. I think this one was seven and Stace has just got a cheese one and that was six sorry. So actually really cheap, cheaper than the coffees, mm. which is weird. Um, but yeah, so far I've been a great little journey. I can already tell that the getting out of a city is always fun. And I'm pleased that we did a train because it gets you off the main highways and through fields and everything. And it's just, it's stunning. And Poland is really green and really beautiful. There's got these ma massive, vast, open, open fields and everything and sort of really surprised us there's old brick houses and lots yeah see, there's yeah. lots to see i think I, I love that about a train and then to be able to walk up and down and everything it's quite a nice way to travel and we were just talking like we're in no rush either if this was a holiday for us we would have flown i think there's a flight or close yeah, enough yeah. um or we would have taken the five hour express and just done it on a different day or booked it early but we're in no rush this is nice quite a nice like local experience we haven't really heard anybody else speaking english and yeah i don't know it's it's really cool, sort of fun way to go about it. I'm not going to eat this and be like, oh, it's got the flavor profiles <laughs> or anything. It's it's like a it's a baby sandwich that's super cheap on a train. So. <laughs> I've never actually used one of those wheelie things upstairs and I've always looked at them and been like, man, that looks so cool. I want to pull luggage it up that one day. so much harder than So than difficult. Like dragging 20 kilos up a ramp is, a, <laughs> is not as easy as what it looks. But we've arrived. We have arrived. So, to us, we have arrived in Gdansk. Yeah. According to the announcer, uh, Gdansk. Gd no. Gd Gdansk. Gdansk. Gdansk? Gdansk. So, I think. Yeah. Correct us if we're wrong, please. Do let us know how to like break it down into syllables. That's what we think it is. We're trying. We're trying. There's a really cool building over here. Don't quite know what that is yet. Uh, so that, yeah, it took about just over eight hours. Just over eight hours. Cruises at 150 k's per hour. Does it? Yep. And wow. the ticket thing. The ticket thing. Um, we booked online, so uh, we actually checked before we got on if we had to go and collect paper tickets or if we could just use our phone. Mm, it's got you like can, a QR code. Yeah, you can use your phone, but a tip make sure that you take a screenshot because service goes in and out and yeah. they check your tickets multiple times throughout the trip. I reckon about five times they yeah. checked and multiple times we lost 3G connection and the Wi-Fi yeah. shaky at best. So take a screenshot <laughs> just to be safe. We have just arrived at our Airbnb staying in a very strange place with a lot of very dark and weird stairs and instructions to come up but it's really nice once we're in here this is not what i was expecting really not what were you expecting well i feel like we've just been on a scavenger hunt yeah and i'm just taking it all in but it's nice now that we're here we'll need to I'll, I'll show you some footage here of the of the stairs and everything we've just come up from the outside it's not great on the outside but it was sort of the same in prague right yeah but it's a nice place homely and then this is the bedroom like we're only here for a couple of nights that's perfect that's all we need but you can see the area it's just there's nothing there's just nothing out here but the reviews mentioned right that it was only oh she went to the bathroom <laughs> the reviews mentioned that it was only like a 10 minute walk or so into town so that's all we need we're good this is the side we're staying on which looks a lot older and so then over this way Look at these beautiful buildings. Oh, I'm going to miss the crossing. So we're making our way away from that area into this area. We're not going to go full explore the old town because we're pretty tired after a day of a day of training, but we're going to go and get some food anyway. <laughs> Wish us luck. So we've crossed over the street and it still feels a little bit derelict over this side as well. It's, it's just a bit quiet. It's obviously just where we've chosen to stay, which is a bit further away from the yeah like the main touristy area but it's fun exploring it always is yeah so so stace had found a pierogi place but turns out that was like 35 minutes walk and my bad <laughs> yeah i don't know how we mix that up so normally if you've watched us before you'd know we're normally really organized we know we're going to go yeah things are really straightforward we show you these really cool places we find really great places sometimes we like to just arrive somewhere and go let's walk 
that's what we're doing. So we're absolutely winging it. There is stunning like cathedral or church here. There's all these spires. Everywhere you look, there's all these all these incredible spires. We, we've noticed on the map there's a little water grouping and we're hoping, I don't know if it's like a canal or a channel or don't know, I'm unclear. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna head in that direction. The next videos that we do from here will be a lot more organized and have a lot more cool stuff going on. So um Um We found the water. Not quite what we were expecting. There's just not really much going on here though. Keep trying? Yep, keep trying. It's like a scene from Narnia or something. Well, we walked around forever and we ended up on the walking street. Yeah, which we were the... meant to be checking out tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, so we're going to be good. We're not actually going to explore much. We haven't filmed much, but I can already say that this place looks so interesting. Yeah, there's a lot happening here. Would you say it almost feels like it's a bit... Um... It feels a little bit confused from yeah. what we've seen. We'll just leave it at that because this yeah. place looks so cool. But anyway, we've uh, gone about as polished as you possibly can when there's no pierogies around. We've got... Pierogi. Pierogi, sorry. <laughs> Sing uh, singular, not plural. We've got uh, two uh, Taiski beer and two enormous... Zappi <laughs> Which is basically pizza and beer, which is what we do every single time. Exactly. We if you haven't seen what these look like, uh, check out our uh, food video, which I'll link here for you. Sorry, you were saying? Yeah, every time we come to a new city, we always end up having some form of pizza and beer. Yeah. Whether we mean to or not, we yeah. always end up. <laughs> we absolutely do. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. We've done plenty. After we've done yeah. this, we're going to go home and plan out what we're going to do in the next video. So check back for that one. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the comments. Bye. Ooh.